I had a mirror, and I got to watch the whole thing as they were making it happen. Tequila! <laughs> Jack! What's up, brother? Oh, George, I'm glad you're here. Let me ask you a question. If you were a young Southern belle, who would you be more attracted to? The dashing captain with the promising future or the young Irish stable boy with eyes so blue you could swim in them? <laughs> Hell, I got the key at the house. <laughs> so, what's the big deal about this Kinsen hoo-ha? <laughs> it's called a quinceanera. It's like a Latina debutante ball. It's when a young girl becomes a woman, like a sweet 16, but you do it when you're 15. I did it when I was 14. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> hey, kids. Hey. Oh, what you got there? Oh, Angie's dry cleaning. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> well, you wouldn't know that whip sound. That's how they get you in the barn at night. <laughs> God, I wish I could figure out this stupid dress. I wouldn't spend too much time on it. That dress is just gonna end up in the back seat of that guy's car anyway. Mom! What? What's Carmen making a dress anyway? Well, she wants to spare you some money. You're spending so much on that quinceanera. What? There's not gonna be a quinceanera. Oh, now that's not what Angie says. Well, that's what I say. She knows we can't afford a big party right now. I thought she called it off. Well, don't you worry your pretty big head about it. <laughs> You know, your husband's working. She can pay for it. Oh, no. She's home and you with no dinner on the table. Yeah, put an apple in your mouth, jump in the oven, and I'll serve bats. Talking about this. Well, I'm not done talking about it. Yeah, you're lucky I got to put some fabric softener in the rinse cycle or this could get ugly. It already has, princess. <laughs> <laughs> 